All right, guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how you can set up a variety of different accolades in a number of ways on your own creative maps. So without further ado, let me show you quickly what we're going to be making. Elimination accolade. Okay, that's that one. Target accolade. So you can set up, you can see I've got some dangling icicles. The first one you shoot will give you the challenge. Shooting additional will complete the challenge. Over here we've got local challenges. Now I've set this up inside a mutator zone. So when you walk in, local challenges pops up. Get eliminations with assault rifles. And with this one, you'll see that if I leave the area, it disappears. But if I come back, so does the challenge, and you can see that my progress has remained. Okay, so there you go, there you go, job done. Now you can't get that challenge again, because every time you go back into the local area, it'll tell you the challenge has been completed. Okay, let's show you how to set those up. Right, so with the elimination accolade, you're going to need an elimination manager, a tracker, a hood message device, and an accolade device. Now, elimination manager, enabled at game start. If you're hiding it somewhere on your map, it doesn't matter whether you set it to visible or not. Number of items dropped. What that is, is you can actually add items to the elimination manager, like gold, um, consumables, that sort of thing, so that when you shoot a target, that target can drop those items. Target type, all types. You can set that to, as I've done there, all types. Players only, all creatures, sentries, fiend, etc. And on elimination, transmit it on channel 10. Channel 10 will increment progress on the tracker. So the tracker you want set up as the stat to track being channel reset between rounds yes or no depending on how you want to use that target value will be the number of eliminations you want to set for the challenge sharing set to individual because you don't want everybody contributing to complete the challenge unless it's a team team based thing um, do, 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 weapon category you can set that up for different weapons. When target is reached, complete tracker. Amount to change on received signal is set to one. Show on HUD is set to both. Tracker title is set to get eliminations. And underneath that, we've got the description text, which tells you what you need to do. Eliminate enemy players. No progress, you can have that on or off. Total. Tracker completion ceremony set to yes. You can have it set to headshots only or not. And when completed, the tracker will send a message on channel 11, which will give you this elimination accolade complete uh, xp awarded time from round start is off display time set to three seconds and channel 11 is also what is set channel 11 is also what activates the accolade device and grants the player experience Bear in mind that your maps will have to be calibrated before that actually works. So it means you're going to have to get plays on that map before the XP starts to work. The local area accolade is quite simple, pretty much same with what I've got there. All you need, additionally, is a couple of trackers and a mutator zone. So when a player enters the mutator zone, sends a signal on channel 20. Channel 20 gives them the challenge 
fire a trigger. So I'll trigger when receiving from channel 20. When triggered, transmit on 21. 21 will then assign the tracker. So increment progress went from 24. 24 is the elimination manager. So when you get an elimination, that will send a signal on channel 24 to upgrade your tracker. Now, when the player leaves the mutator zone, that will remove the tracker from them. And when completed, that will send a message on 25. Which will show the HUD message device. Alright, so that's that one. Now, the snowflake one that I've got here, or the target one, you can have any target you like. But what you're going to need is you're going to need an explosive device, two triggers per item, per target, and your target itself. Now, this orange sphere, if you've never seen it before, this is the explosion radius. Now, the reason I've got that there is that snowflake up there is right next to the building and I don't want to damage the building when I've got, you know, no environmental damage. But you can't see the orange circle because you need to be standing on a floor. So, you'll see, I can now see that sphere. Make sure it's not touching the building and just the target that I want to destroy. So the way this one is set up is the first snowflake that I shoot is going to give me the challenge. So it won't count towards the total. And then each one that I shoot after that will count towards, will increment progress. The reason you need two triggers Because when you shoot this trigger, that's going to send a signal on channel 2. Now channel 2 will explode the bomb. I did try using this setting down here uh, when exploded transmit on, but it didn't seem to work for this. So that's why you need the two triggers. So, again, that will explode when it's from channel 2. Channel 2 will set off this trigger, which will then tr send a signal on channel 4. Now, channel 4 is for the tracker. So, let's see. Down here, increment progress when receiving from channel 4. And for the tracker, when completed, transmit on channel 5, and that will remove as well from channel 5. That will also set off your HUD message device. And there you go. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like. Maybe consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any future content. And thanks very much for watching. Take care, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.